My name is Yan Sili. I am a solution architect from SAP. In the next eight minutes, I'm going to take you through how to get started with SAP Cloud Platform Cloud Foundry. So we're going to start with how to set up for the Cloud Foundry for free, and then how to log on to your Cloud Foundry account, and also we're going to deploy it to learn how to deploy it. Uh, not a GS application to your Cloud Foundry space in the SAP Cloud Platform. So to start with, SAP Cloud Platform already provides very well document, how to guide document uh, um, here. So you can just simply open the get started document and then to go through one by one to sign it up in the sign up page. So you can set it up for free with a trial account here. If you're not able to find out the URL here, so simply you just Google SAP Cloud Platform and you will be able to find an overview page for SAP Cloud Platform. And in the overview page of SAP Cloud Platform, uh, you, can, you can sign up for, for free. Uh, just click the try it for free. And just fill in your personal information, username and password, email, and then com confirm the terms and register. After registration, uh, you will receive an email to confirm an activate account. And then after that, you can log into your SAP Cloud Platform account uh, with your email and credential by with login button here. So once you log in, you will be able to see the copied page of SAP Cloud Platform. And in this page, you're going to see there's a two versions of SAP Cloud Platform. One is Neo version, the other one is Cloud Foundry version. We're going to focus on the Cloud Foundry version. Um, for the first time logging, you're not, you're not going to see the go to, uh, go to button here. Instead, you're going to uh, see on the button start my Cloud Foundry trial account. Okay, and that click the start Cloud Foundry account, uh, you, you, will, you will create your own space uh, for the Cloud Foundry. And you'll be asking where, where, which location, which region you want to host your Cloud Foundry. So for my case, I I using the Frankfurt region to hosting uh, my Cloud Foundry. So in the trial uh, account, in my trial account, as you can see it, you can see my uh, overview. So this is a core tab I'm allowed to using my in my Cloud Foundry. Um, maximum I can using up to one gigabyte memory, and then I can using um, any kind of other like HANA database service, Mongo database service, and Redis. Um, service as well and then for the next one now I'm going to for the next step uh, we're going to set up so um, in order to deploy your application to SAP uh, Cloud Platform Cloud Foundry we will need a Cloud Foundry command line interface okay to set this up just click the link set up And then you will need to download uh, the tool from the GitHub and install it uh, on your development uh, machine there. So once you have installed uh, the command light, and then you can test it out uh, using the command light CF. And then you're showing you the order of the command for the CF uh, here. So now the next one, the next step, once you have set it up the command line tool, now we, we are going to log in to our, our own uh, Cloud Foundry account uh, in SAP Cloud Platform. To launch that, so the first step we're going to do is to set up the API endpoint for the Cloud Foundry using the command CF API, and then this is the uh, endpoint uh, for Frankf. 
So if you want to find out your own uh, uh, endpoint, you can check it out from the region and host and uh, for your own here. For my case, I'm using the Frankif uh, region. So this, I'm going to copy this command and then go back to my terminal. And then this, I have my API endpoint set up. To verify, you just type command CF API again. You so you. And then the next one, I'm going to log into my Cloud Function account simply just using CF login account. And then you are asking you for your email and credential to log in. Okay, now we are logging to our Cloud Foundry uh, with the command line tool. Now the next step is I'm going to show you how can you deploy your application, not just application, uh, to Cloud Foundry. You can have a look at the documentation uh, which is pointed to the um, standard Cloud Foundry documentation, how to deploy an application um, here. So to deploy an application, an application in Cloud Foundry. For my case, we're going to deploy it, another JS application to the Cloud Foundry. So to doing so, of course, you need to have in your uh, another JS application ready. For my case, I prepared a Hello World uh, another JS application, and then there are two configuration you need to prepare uh, to deploy your application to the Cloud Foundry. So the first one is you need to define a start script in the package the JSON, uh, which will be the entry point uh, Cloud Foundry launch your application. The second one, you need to create a manifest YAML to specify it, uh, what is the application name, the memory allocation, the number of instance. I already uh, prepared one of the and uh, in the in my uh, in my GitHub account. If you're interesting, you can download. Uh, from my GitHub account here. So in my uh, in my um, Hello World here application, it just simply return me Hello World, uh, and then um, in my package JSON, I already prepared a start script, which is going to um, start my application .js. and then I also have prepared. A manifest yum for my Node.js application, which I have in my application name as Hello World app, and then it would run up to 64 megabyte, and only run for one instance. Okay, now we are ready to deploy it, our Node.js to a Cloud Foundry. Simply just use the command cf push, and basically the cf push first you are looking for the Manifest YAML in the column folder, and then you will create application. And um, for this case, it's Hello World application. And then you would upload the source code and download the dependence, the reference for the Node.js, and then try to build, and then uh, deploy it afterwards. Once they have been uh, deployed, it, and then you're going to start the add uh, using the uh, npm start for me. Let's wait for a moment. Now our app has been started, and then you can you can assess the app with the given URL here. Let's just copy the URL. And open the app from the browser. So as you can see, it's working and it's written me hello world here. Okay, so that's the end of the video. Thank you for your time.